Hello friends, welcome to day five, the final day of the vlog of making an EP in uh, five days. We realized that doing a whole album was crazy. We wanted to have a bit of a life outside the studio also. So we've done something uh, really interesting today to start the day. We finished the composition process and we took the tracks uh, as we have them now, which is the pre-masters, and we played them on the infamous solo setup room. He knows these speakers best, uh, so let's see uh, yeah, what he thought of what he heard so far. Well, I would say so far they sound uh, they sound great. So we've we've produced this, mixed it in the studio, which have this uh, high-end Genelec setup, and it's really good to to hear the songs on a setup that's a little bit more typical of what other people would listen to them on. And I find listening in the Sonos in my living room, you'll quickly hear if there's a big problem with the mix. And so far, I think they sound uh, they sound great. Overall, the mix is sounding out of the box already very uh, very good so it's going to be pretty easy to to master them yeah exactly what uh, what my feelings were also hearing them here uh, so we've been in uh, a lot of contact with uh, Camille Cuerpos Cosmicos who's recording vocals for us in Argentina dear Eric and Sander here I am recording some vocals on the tracks you sent me I am writing and singing in French my native language but also sometimes in Spanish, my second native language. It's 4 a.m. and I only have six hours left to record the last uh, vocals. So it's really automatic writing and I hope um, the lyrics make sense at the end of the day. But I'm confident about it. I think that the fastest you write and record something, especially in music, the easiest it is to identify the central ID or emotion. On the contrary, when you work multiple times on uh, something, you start adding more and more depth and meanings, um, but it can get quite cloudy and lose its power. Because there is power in simplicity, in uh, expressing one ID, one emotion, one thought, and giving it uh, space. So today is the last day and we have a few hours now to integrate all her vocals, to mix them, to do the final tweaks to the sequences and mixes. So we're doing the uh, final mix uh, of the track called It's All Connected, which is going to be the title track of the album. And Sander just showed me something really cool. Yeah, so getting the, the volume of the vocals right uh, can be a bit tricky. So, so this is the Isotope uh, Insight app. And one of the things they have is uh, a plugin called Relay. Yeah, so you put the Relay plugin on the vocal track, and then you select that as an input into Insight, right? So here you see that Relay, it's selected. And then when we play it, the sweet spot is here. And this is telling us that the vocals will be intelligible. So this is the final mix down of the first track that we were finished with vocals. Have a listen. So we are now working on the second track. We've brought in the vocals from Camille. We're shortening the sequence a little bit, tightening things up. And um, as soon as we have the sequence finalized with the vocals, we will move on to mixing. You're up. <laughs> this one's for you. <laughs> All right, yeah. I think the final touches of a track are always a little bit tedious, a little bit of second guessing, but I think it's, uh, it's good, so. Yeah, time to maybe finish this one, move on to the next one. All right, man. A big, big thanks to Camille for the cool vocals.
So Eric's gonna adjust the kick of the bass while he's listening to it on the VSX headphones because he's quite used to uh, the way everything sounds there to really address the uh, the subs, right? So sometimes it's hard to judge how much low end on your kick and your bass to leave in, also the way that they interact. And it can be helpful to, uh, as a second reference, do that on headphones. So he's using the VSX headphones for that. He thinks that's it. All right, sorted. Just as easy as that. So a little trick when you're working on your low end of kick and bass, it's a bit funny, like we have access to so many great EQs, but in the box, the auto filter from Ableton is one of the very best low cuts I've found, actually even compared to really high end EQs. That, to cut, for example, the subs off your kick very cleanly, have a listen or your bass in this case. And the same with the kick. The kick's still a little bit too fat. You can just cut things so clear with it. And I think what I'm gonna do with the kick is add the amazing split EQ from Eventide. So this is a very interesting new thing from Eventide where you can EQ separately either the transient component of something, so the click or the sibilance and plosives uh, of a vocal, or the tonal component, which here is the, the meat of the kick. So um, also for bass lines, it's very nice to be able to do that separately. So what we've done now is we've left the low end punch of the kick intact, which is what you hear with the transient here. That's the punch, but I wanted to pull a little bit of the resonant frequency that's just overwhelming a bit in the track. That, which Sanders' neighbors love. So you can sculpt your kick very nicely using this tool. Little shout out to Celli because actually I'm realizing now there's something we can do to the bass, which is Celli's secret magic mastering preset, uh, which is part of the V1 preset folder on uh, Saturn from uh, FabFilter. You just tick uh, your magic mastering and then you have two bands, a low and a high band, and you just mess with it a bit to see um, how you want it to basically add a little bit of saturation to your bass to bring the bass up front a bit because it's drowning a little bit in the track. So. Let me see what I can do. So this is the mixing session for the third track that we're mixing today, which is actually the intro track. So this is the third track that we're mixing on the fifth day of this project. It's the first track we wrote, it's the intro track to the album and I was super happy to discover that the mix sounds really great right out of the Compose session. I didn't have to do much to it at all. I had a happy little accident with a very interesting, weird, long feedback delay on the toms and uh, yeah, we're done, have a listen. because that would not work. But I love how it sounds in the track, having the toms panning across with the delay. So yeah, this is the third track uh, mix uh, that we've done now. And uh, now we're moving on to the last track. Hello friends. So this is now the very last day of me being in Singapore with my mate Sander. Uh, but yeah, we've uh, gotten through three of the tracks. This is the final mix down of uh, one of them. We just got some fresh vocals in from Camille, so we still have a couple of hours today. We're flying in the afternoon, so 
yeah, coming down to the crunch, but I'm super happy with the tracks and how they've come up. What about you? What's yeah. your feeling with yeah, it? Yeah, no, really, really good work. Um, very satisfied with it and uh, looking forward to mastering it, maybe. Yeah, no, satisfied. Everything sounds great. And it's been really good to have you here. So it's uh, nice to work in person instead of remotely. Yeah, for yeah. sure. It's always nice to work with friends in the studio. It's all right, the track we were just working on now is done and we're moving on to the next one. We got some great vocals from Camille, Purpose Cosmicos, um, just brought them in. I uh, put my favorite vocal reverb on them, which is Verb Suite Classics. If you haven't tried this for vocals, it's the only thing I use. It's better than anything I've heard. So easy to use. Every preset sounds amazing. Let's have a listen to what she's done with the vocals. <laughs> So yeah, on to the next mix and then hopefully finish this within, well, it's only 9.30 in the morning. Doing good, good program. So Sander, <laughs> how's it going after this mad experiment? <laughs> so this is <laughs> so this is it. We are just bouncing the last file from our sessions here in Singapore, doing ZEP in the end in five days. Today is actually the sixth day already. We're maximizing the use of the time we have here. Sander, how are you feeling? I'm uh, I'm pretty wiped out. It's been been a lot of work, but it's been good fun. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I gotta say I agree. I'm I'm really wiped out. <laughs> We've been really on the case here, and I realize also the there's such a huge difference between the composition part and now the mixing part, which was just to take so much brain power to do everything. But I'm very stoked with where we've gotten to in this time. We can't wait to share these tracks with you when they're done. Big, big thank you to Camille Cuerpos Cosmicos for providing us with vocals, super spontaneous, recorded in Argentina on a little phone microphone. Uh, yeah, super happy with how it's turned out. All right, everyone, see you on the next one. See you later. <laughs> Take